SNL, Amy Schumer reveals husband's proposal was worthless, he threw the box at me. Did she really say that? Amy Schumer admitted that her marriage proposal was downright lousy. Check out the hilarious moment right here. Amy Schumer, 36, is this week's host on Saturday Night Live and she started the show off right by revealing that she wasn't exactly blown away by husband Chris Fisher's proposal. I got my married and my now husband's proposal was so worthless, she declared during her opening monologue. It was such a dumb proposal. It was the morning. I was still asleep. He threw the box at me and said I got you this. But that's a realistic proposal, you know. Wow. Although this monologue is one of the best this season, it's hardly the only time SNL hosts have had us in stitches with their comedic chops lately. When Kevin Hart dropped by in December, he cracked some jokes about becoming a father again. As fans know, he welcomed his son Kenzo Cash Hart in November. He admitted that initially, he wasn't all that thrilled about being a father again. Why? Because of the terrible twos. The thing is, for me, I didn't want to deal with that two-year-old age again, he told the studio audience. That was my fear. That's a tough age. Man, you gotta have a lot of patience to deal with that two-year-old child. All you do is repeat yourself all day to a two-year-old child. Then he hilariously act out what a conversation between himself and a two-year-old sounded like. Hey, hey, what I say, look at me, look at me, no, what I say, look at me, no, what I say, love it. We gotta imagine the laughter never ends in his house. And let's not forget when Charles Barkley returned to host in March. The baller turned sports commentator dropped some amazing jokes while also bringing up a sensitive topic. People should be able to disagree, he argued during his opening monologue, referencing the kneeling controversy in the NFL. For example, I'm proud to stand for our national anthem, unless Fergie's singing and then I fall over laughing because it's hilarious. Zing. Clearly he's poking some fun at her near-universally reviled rendition of the Star-Spangled Banner at the NBA All-Star Game.